What's up guys and welcome to a little game known as Faith. This is an indie horror game that is indie style of Atari 2600 graphics. And uh, if you ever heard of the Atari 2600, you know that the graphics are really poopy. But I hear despite this game's very low graphical, well, ability, it's pretty spooky. So I thought I would give it a shot since it is the season to get spooky, I thought, hey, why not give this game a shot, so, for a little bit of background on this game, this is a game where you play as a priest known as John Ward, and he is visiting an abandoned house after a failed um, exorcism some years ago, and he feels the, the need to finish what he started, so without further ado, let us jump into the world of faith, chapter one, okay, new game. Oh, we're in the game. I think I accidentally skipped the intro. I mean, all it was, I think, it was just John saying uh, he was going to go back to the house to finish what he started. Oh, that is a deer. Okay. Oh, God. Get away from me, you horrible beast. Okay, so I, I'm going to be assaulted by horrible demons as I go through this forest, it seems. And now uh, we're going to be get, getting a bit of lore. Okay, that is what appears to be a dead animal. A uh, squirrel of some sort. Can I exercise the dead animal? I do not believe I can exercise the dead animal. Huh. So anyway, yeah, we have that deer again. I don't really think it means anything, though. So we're just going to keep going up. Okay, we're looping around, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. I like the Moonlight Sonata. Uh-oh. Get away from me. Yeah, you go unwillingly. You and your big crunched voice. Anyway, we have another deer here. I don't know if it's the same deer or a different deer. I don't think it matters much, though. Oh, we finally reached the house. I think there might be a bit more to this forest, though, that we may be missing. So I think we should explore the forest a little bit more before we go on to the house. I don't care what you have the body of, you weird spider demon. Ah, I hope that thing doesn't appear too often. Okay, it seems we have found a little outhouse here. Okay, there's a key in here. Oh, I see you, spider demon. Okay. Get away from me. Ugh. I knew he was gonna try to jump me when I saw him go across that window. I knew he was gonna try to fuck me up. Anyway, the Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow here the road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jet out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay? So basically having family around, it might be a bit of a traumatic experience, is what he's saying. Okay, can I exercise this? I can. I have exercised the well. Public Lecture by Carl James Osborne, Connecticut's Historical Connections to Witchcraft, Satanism, and the Beast System, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh-huh, okay, that is definitely something. I'm not exactly sure what that means but we're just going to keep going. Alright, we're back to the deer. We're just going to keep ignoring it since it doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything. Now we are back to the dead squirrel. It looks like a squirrel anyway. Anyway, we have obtained the key, which I assume is to be used on the house. I didn't even know if it was locked or not. I just, uh, I just didn't want to go in the house because I thought there might have been more to explore around the foresty area. But it seems we might have explored all there is to explore around this forest, but we'll keep walking around a little bit more. 
uh, indicates that there might actually be some more stuff around here. So far, that spider demon hasn't attacked us much more. So I wonder if this game is supposed to be capped at 15 FPS? I'm assuming it is. To try to keep in with the aesthetic of the Atari thing going on. Okay, we have a pile of web or bones? I'm not sure what that is. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go with the, to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to, to the dead deer it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this is just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Okay, I mean, my... Oh. Yeah. It almost got me there. I was in the middle of the conversation, you rude bastard. Anyway, if my kids came home covered in blood, I think I'd be a bit more concerned than that. But hey, to each their own, I suppose. But uh, anyways, I'm going to keep looking around this forest. It doesn't seem to be much here, though. I kind of feel like I'm slooping around the same few areas. We're gonna go right again. Get the hell away from me, you goddamn spider demon. I swear to god, these demons, they have no manners. They just jump at you from nowhere. Okay, we're back to the deer, and I don't really think I'm going anywhere. So we're just gonna head back up. Get the hell away from me. Again. Okay, we have a gravestone. Okay, I can't exercise that. Man, this demon is getting more and more frequent. How annoying. Can I read the epitaph? The epitaph. Okay, let's read whatever it is that's here. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property. As a historical cemetery, our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. So are the gravestones written in tongues or something? Are they written in the, the devil's language? Okay, we have a tree here. It looks like a unique tree. And the fact that it does not have any see what that's all about. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the ne needles are falling off and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the other women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me. Well, uh, maybe there's some of those anti-vax folks that don't like your child being a doctor for some reason. And frankly, I don't know why you'd be d d disappointed at a child becoming a doctor. Because isn't that what most parents aspire their children to be? Because, you know, I want my kid to be a doctor, damn it, okay? So, uh, uh, we're trying to get back to the house. We're here at this damn deer again. I would exercise the demon from this deer. Lord, save this animal. Alright, anyway gonna do ignore the deer and try to get back to the house because I seem to be pretty lost around these woods. Just strolling around here in my priest to get up. Uh, as long as we keep going up we should be able to get back to it. Back to this damn deer. I don't want anything to do with this deer. As long as we keep going up we should be able to get back to the house eventually. Can I do anything with these rocks? No, okay. I have my golden crucifix to protect me from the demons in the night. Oh, we have a puddle here. Okay, this puddle is possessed by a demon. Go away. I hate you. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the store. I mean, why would you need a rifle? They're just hikers, I mean. They're not like they're gonna rob you. 
If you live this far out in the damn woods to where I can you find it, nobody's gonna rob your ass. Okay, he was going for the deer there. That was interesting. And we're back at this damn cabin. I want nothing to do with this cabin. I've already done all there is to do in there. So I think we have to go right and then up to get back to the house. And we'll get there eventually. Oh, he left a note. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss comprehension compensation in return for the discretion. Uh, you will meet our representative there and reaccompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Griffin. Okay, very interesting. So, was this Michael fella under the care of a Father Garcia? Or, or what's going on there? I'm not sure. Maybe that will be further explained in the next game, which is Faith Chapter 2. Which is one dollar, and I might buy it just to play it, but I think that we might save that one for next Halloween. Because, well, you know, I, I've got some other games I do want to play. And unfortunately, I just seem to be very lost around these woods. I would like to get to the house, but I just can't seem to find where the damn thing is. So maybe we should head back down to the car and retrace our steps from there. Okay, we're just looped back down, so that helped me a lot. Let's go up, okay? We're just back to the deer again. This damn deer! Ah, back to the fucking deer. Go away. Get, get scared. Get out of here. I don't want nothing to do with you. Uh, okay, we're back to the dead animal, which I think is close to the house. Okay, back to the deer again. It's always in different spots, though. Never the same place, this deer. And hopefully if we keep going up from here, I think we might get to the house. And we're back to the graveyard again. This does not help me. It doesn't help that John walks very slowly. Are these trees possessed by evil demons? What about this patch of grass? Okay, we're back to the shack again. It's the no chick. Okay, I'm sorry I had to remind you of that awful show. Okay, again, I'm just gonna start heading back down towards where the car was, and I'm gonna try to retrace my steps from there. <coughs> oh, bad. I think I'm being possessed by a demon. Ugh. Okay, let's see if we loop. Okay, we haven't looped back yet. So we're just gonna try to head back to the car, retrace our steps from there. Because we did get to the house originally, it's just that, uh, now I can't find it. And that's, uh, that's not exactly entertaining to watch me wandering around some fucking woods. Oh, uh, okay, we were a part uh, of the road. We'll stay out of the road just in case of car. Okay, that's our car. Good. Uh, what if we go down the road a bit more? Maybe there's something around there. Mm, just more woods. We should, uh, we should just go on to where... Started and I think I went up and to the right to get to the house from here. Or maybe I just went straight up. That's possible too. Okay, hello dear. I wish I had a map or something so I could Oh well, okay. I've exercised the demon from this well. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 to 4. Directions. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Road and straight past the well. Okay, so it's straight past the well, which I mean the house should be, well, straight past the well. So if I think we just keep going up, we should get to the house. Uh, hello, dear. How do you do? You are my only company in this desolate road. Oh. I think I saw something in the window there. That was creepy. We are in the house. Alright. We have a note here. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It was hard to describe the look on her face. 
It was not the kind of look the child gives you. Oh, okay. I'm assuming she was possessed by a demon. Can I look at this image? No. I can exercise it, though. Because it was a demon possessing it, I guess. Okay, so I'm assuming the purple is Amy, and that's uh, Mrs. and Mr. Martin. Assuming. That's her parents. Alright, that's a very large bed. Look at that. That bed's bigger than I am. Jesus. There's a mirror. Oh. There's something following me. That's creepy as hell, man. Ugh. I have only the comfort of my voice to keep me safe. Okay, nothing in here, I don't think. Just a living room. We have a drawing on the fridge. Let's exercise it. Okay. Ugh. Nate. A black figure and a red-robed person. That's very weird. Is this anything? No, it doesn't look like it. I have a door here. Probably a back door of some sort. Nope, can't go that way, so we're just going to leave. The lack of music is very unsettling. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's head downstairs. Oh, good, some spots of blood. That's probably completely and utterly safe. I don't seem to be able to go through there, though, so we're just going to go up. A washing machine, a white cloth. Oh, a cradle. The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Dear Amy, thank you for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. If your letter, in your letter, you ask what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. Okay, wait, Quim, Quim, Quimbamba. Quimbamba, Quimbamba, okay, Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of these saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Oh, De La Muerte. But anyway, yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no. But I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he, was, he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. Uh-huh. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Layton. Alright, Layton. Uh, you, got, you guys got some piping issues. Look at this. You got water dripping down from the ceiling. Yeah, that's, uh, that's highly unfortunate. You know, water damage is no joke. It's one of the most damaging things you can do to a home. And uh, those are some very interesting mannequins. They're so interesting that I don't want to look at them anymore. So I'm just going to leave. Oh. Hello. These are some very interesting things. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Get away from me. Go. Be gone, foul demon. Oh. Whoa. What happened? Oh. What the fuck? He is here. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Oh, she is here. That was some fine rotoscoping. Man, that, that was creepy. That actually sent shivers down my spine. Ugh, uh, I don't like this. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in, check in the attic. When I got up there, it, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and, in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Uh, this is creepy. I mean, for a game with such minimal graphics, this is genuinely spooky. Alright. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask a, a me and niche about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could ha ha she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. 
I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. And yeah, she should be proud to be working at the clinic. I mean, is that not a good thing? Okay, we have a rubber ducky here. Oh god, get away from me. Oh god, ah. Jesus. She's attacking me now. Uh, clearly she wants me dead. Uh-oh, she's coming. Alright. Face me, demon. Oh! Well, shit. I appear to have died. Oh, great. Now we're set all the way back here. Okay, the rotoscoping is cool and all, but I don't think I need to see this again. He is here. Yes, yes, very spooky. Okay, I don't think it matters if I read all the notes or not. I mean, I thought that she would surround me, and then I would just be able to exercise her, pour my crucifix at her, but maybe I just have to run away? Not exactly sure. Get away from me, foul demon. Be gone! Ah, oh! What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Do I have to pour my crucifix at her? Ah, God damn it. I have to watch this cutscene again. Okay, I don't want to watch it. Yes, yes, you're very creepy, but can I please make some progress here? He is here. Yep, she's definitely here. Okay, I think I have to make my way to the attic. So we're gonna go up. Try to get the hell out of here. And hopefully we can outrun her. Because, I, yeah, the symbols are following me. I have to get away from her. I think that's the only way I can avoid her is just by running away. And I appear to be stuck in some sort of loop here. Okay, I have to find, like, a door or something. I just, oh, okay, there's a downstairs area. No, stay away from me, foul demon. No! Damn it! She got me. Mortis. Mortis. I turned myself into a demon, Mortis. Oh, Lord. Alright, this cutscene again. Oh, yes, you're very spooky. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm practically he wetting here. myself. He is here. Thank you, John, for your input, but please, we must make progress. I'm sick of dying to this chick over and over again, so I really just want to move on. Okay, get to the stairs. It's our way to progress. Okay. We have to get to the attic. Okay. Let me see what I can do about her. Do I point my crucifix at her or what? Ah! Because I turn around to point my crucifix and I die. So what the hell is that all about? Okay, I have to figure out how to deal with her, because if I don't, I'm just going to keep dying over and over. Here, yes. I am Mr. Roboto. Uri arigato, Mr. Roboto. Alright, come get me, Amy. I'm gonna try to figure out how to deal with you. Come on, I know you wanna kill me. Oh, okay, so I, ju I just point the uh, crucifix at her. So when I see the symbols, I point the crucifix at the symbols and it makes her stop. Alright, fair enough. I think I can just, okay. Okay, she just, she just ran away that time. Alright, all I have to do is point the crucifix at that, and it would all be good. Uh-oh. Get away from me. Uh-oh. Ah. Okay. Okay, I cannot view the image again, so I suppose it is unnecessary. So, see the symbols, point the crucifix at it. Easy. Yeah, I know you can see me, and I can see you too. You foul demon. Alright. Uh, she's no longer following me. I can't marry Alright, maybe I can just leave the house. Maybe I can just, eh, okay. I can leave the house if I want to, but I don't know why I would. I think I have to get to the attic, don't I? So that means I should go upstairs. Okay, thank you, John. Okay, well, upstairs it is. So after fucking with Amy for a bit, we can finally go up to the attic. So does she want to tango one more time? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, uh, blood. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. 
What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, uh, she blank my superior blank father with when I confronted her. She managed to cut the power to the house and blah, 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 her own parents with their own. Uh -huh. I have to go back to that house. Uh, oh, this is John speaking. I have to go back to that house, okay? Maybe I should do, like, the robot voice. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, I know that I love you, and I'm sorry, John. Okay, so that's John. So what, how did that letter even get here? Oh. The crosses, they spin! Amy. Hello, Amy. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is breaking? No, you're ugly as fuck. I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Out, foul demon. Out. Out. Leave this girl alone. Be gone, foul demon. Oh. What are these beasts? Why do they come for me? Make them go away. Oh, what the hell? I was pointing my cross at it. More this. Well, I guess I'm dead. My God, okay. What happened to Dialogue again. Do you see my face is again, you're fucking ugly. I have to finish what I started. Alright, take two. Maybe I just have to avoid those two. Doesn't look like I can make them go away with my cross. I trained myself into a demon, Moitis. Get away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Go away. I'm assuming if I make any kind of physical contact with Amy, I just die. Oh, what the hell are you doing now? Alright, here we go. Oh, she's coming for me. Without it. Uh-oh, oh, I did not expect that, okay? Mortis. Mortis. Alright, take that ugly drape over your head so I can see your true face. You ugly bitch. Alright. And, ah, oh, uh, what, what the hell? I mean, I pointed my cross at him. So what the hell was I supposed to do there? Alright, take 89. Alright, come get me. Okay, maybe I just have to avoid her. I don't think I can do much about that there. I think I just have to dodge the attack. Alright, find her. I found her. Okay, dodge. Yes, I have dodged. Okay, no. Be gone. Oh, found it. And, ah. You have to try harder than that, Amy, if you want to kill me. John Priest, man. Uh oh, oh, shit. Damn it, I, I, I fucked it up. More this. It doesn't help that John's walking speeds are insanely slow. Alright, come on, Amy. We can do this tango all day. I will defeat you eventually. Okay, found you. Ah! Be gone! Oh, found it. Uh oh! Yeah! Yeah, I love this, like, Atari style music. I just generally love this game's aesthetic, it's really great. Uh oh, ooh, I, I barely dodged it that time. Alright, come on. Fight me like a man. You can't keep doing this forever, Amy. You'll get sick of this fight eventually. Come on, I think we're almost at the next stage of the fight. Come on. Assuming this fight does have stages. Oh, shit. Oh, haha, I have japed you, as the cool kids call it. Oh shit, no, god damn it. For some reason my instinct was to point my cross at her again. I'm not really sure why. I, 
I had the pattern down, it's just I fucked up. Alright, let's do it again then. Oh, okay. We have to do some sick MLG dodges in order to beat this lady. Oh, no you don't. Uh oh, Dow. Oh. This is honestly a lot more difficult than it should be. I shouldn't be taking this long to be able to do this. Alright, Amy, I'm getting sick of this dance. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, go away. Okay, found her. Uh, de la muerte. Okay. Uh, no, you don't. Come on. How long is this going to last? No, you don't. Come on, Amy. I know. Okay. I think we finally made it to the next stage. Ooh, that's fucked up. Oh, she makes a pentagram, okay? I think if I stay in the center, I'm safe. Uh. Yeah, I think if I'm in the center of the pentagram, I am safe. Yeah. Be gone, foul demon. Leave this girl alone! Come on, I can't get her like that. It's because I can't stand at a diagonal direction. Oh shit, she got me. Mortis. Mortis. I had enough of your Mortises. I'm sick of this game, Amy. Oh shit, how did they get me? I was nowhere near her. God damn it. Yes, yes, you have a very spooky hand that comes out of your face. You're very disgusting. I'm aware of this. Yeah. Ugh, go away. Please leave me alone, demon. You are very disturbing. And frankly, quite annoying. I wish I had a gun or something, I could just pop this bitch. Come on, let me get you. Uh, I can't get her when she's up there. Oh, it makes it really difficult to dodge her attacks. Alright, let's try to stand dead in the center. Let's see if that just makes us immortal. Nope, does not. Absolutely does not. Mort. Alright, goddammit. Let's do it again. I just have to learn to dodge her attacks. You know what, instead of being inside the pentagram, what if I went outside the pentagram? I was like, hey, why be in it when I can be out of it? Because if she only moves in this pentagram, I can just stand outside of the pentagram and I'm perfectly fine. Oh, shit. Okay, so if I think if I'm in her circle, she goes for me. So I have to also stay out of her circle, so they did think about that too. Oh shit, I walked right into her, god damn it. Uh, I wish I could skip this little cutscene now, I just want to get right to the fight. Okay, I think my best strategy is to just stay inside of the pentagram. Are they just going to move that way, and then up, and then down again? And she's going to move up, that way. Uh, this is very stressful. It's just very random how you have to do it. Uh oh, God! Ugh. It's the it's it's always the third time that gets me. All right, Amy. I really shouldn't be taking this long on this boss fight. Trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks here. 
Luckily, she always moves in the same pattern every time, so at least I can predict her movements. And she's that way. She's gonna move that way, then down there, and over there. Okay, it's always after this that gets me, so she's gonna move that way, and then that way, and then up again. Uh, she's in another spot where I can't really attack her. Stop going up there. Let me kill you. Damn it. Ugh, this is a lot more difficult than it looks, folks. Trust me. Uh, we're just going to move out of the pentagram because, frankly, I am sick of this. Ah, goddammit. I couldn't run away fast enough. Ah. We also have to stay out of her circle. That is, uh, primary objective. Okay, she's that way now. now. We're just going to ignore that, though. If I just camp this corner, I'll be safe. Oh, come on, I'm pointing it right at her. Okay, so my cross does not have an infinite range to it, so that is always good to know. Oh shit, I'm in her circle. No, stay out of the circle. Damn you, foul demon. Be gone. Leave this poor girl alone. Come on, almost got her. Ah, no, no, her circle, it got me. Ugh, this is, this is honestly really difficult. This is challenging, okay, but I, I don't mind the challenge. Oh, how did she get me? I was nowhere near her. Okay, these hitboxes are a little strange, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. Oh, again, I was nowhere near her, but she still got me. Okay, this is starting to get actually frustrating. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is frustrating. It's just like, you can be literally nowhere near her, and she can still get you. Ugh, that's so... Ugh. I just have to take my time and watch her movements. It's the only way I'm gonna beat her, and I keep walking directly to her. Alright, Amy, I'm really starting to get quite sick of this, so... I know you're gonna move down there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively do this. I'm just gonna ignore her there. Can't really get over there without risking myself. And over here is just... can't really do much. When she's over there, I just can't do anything. Come on. I wish my cross had a longer range. Could I get a range upgrade for my cross, please? Oh, grr, her circle again. <sighs> okay, I think I absolutely have to stay inside of the pentagram. I think that's just how you gotta do it. And she still kills me. Alright, I have to learn to dodge her attacks better. I have died way too many times on this boss. All right, Amy. Come on, let's do this. Again, I was a mile away from her, but she still gets me. It's just that John does not walk fast enough for me to be able to dodge very good. Like, look at that. Like, how was I able to suppose I was supposed to dodge that? Like, you just have to be absolutely perfect. If you screw up once, you're dead, man. Okay, she comes down, and over there. Go away. Leave me be, foul demon. Can't get her there. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Okay, I, I absolutely have to stick to the center. I can't go outside of the pentagram center, so... As 
long as I am within the center of the pentagram, I should be mostly safe. It's like, damn, this is annoying. Ugh, God. Leave me be, foul you. Oh, uh, oh, I walked right into it. Ugh. I, ju I just have to recognize the pattern that she goes in. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. Ah, no. Stay away. Nope. Get away. Cause like, my first instinct for some reason is to go upward. And I'm really not sure why. Oh uh, no. Uh, I keep walking outside of the pentagram there because I want to run away. My instincts are telling me get away from her, but I have to stay in the pentagram and I keep telling myself that it doesn't work. Because I'm a dumb dumb, I'm a stupid idiot who doesn't know how to play video games. Alright, don't try to run away from her, just stay inside of the pentagram. Okay, we can ignore her there. And we can also ignore her there. Oh, she's really going for it now. Oh, no. Oh, what am I? Uh... So I wonder if I win the fight just by staying alive or if I absolutely have to do damage to her. Oh, uh, I thought if I stood still, I'd be fine. Uh, when she unleashes her little ghost demon, I have to dodge, so that's unfortunate. Come on, John, you can do it. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, I'm just focusing. Okay, dodge the ghost. Okay. Come on, Amy. Fight me. Okay. We can get here here. She's repeating the same pattern as before. Come on, I've almost got her. This is the farthest I've gotten into this fight. Okay, she goes up that way, so if I stay here, I should be fine. Yes. Okay. Just, I can't get her when she's in the corner bits. Okay, she's gonna unleash her ghost again. And then she's gonna restart the cycle. I know I'm wasting a lot of time there, but I really don't want to take that risk. Okay. Come on, Amy. Oh, yes, I finally got her. Ooh, that took way too long. Ugh. Be gone, foul demon. Be gone from this world. Go back to hell where you came from. Holy crap, I think we actually did it. Okay, shit. Holy crap. Okay, we finally won. Jesus, that took far too long. That had to be at least like 10 minutes there. 15 maybe. I don't have a timer going right now, so I don't actually know. I hope I don't exactly have to read those uh, those notes to uh, get like the good ending or something like that. Because if I do, well, simply not going to be doing that. Alright. Oh. Kill her. I don't think I will. With one bullet. Only one? Well, yeah, I guess we better make it count then. 
So, I uh, it wants me to kill her, but why would I? I mean, I, I literally came down here to save her, right? Why would I kill her? Let's just go back to the car. That's, that's, we just need to get the hell out of here. That, that's my primary objective. If that spider demon shows up, I'm putting a bullet in it. Uh, I see the music is distorted now. I think if we just keep going down, we'll eventually get to the car. Okay, good. The car is here. Ah, the demon! Got it! Yeah! Get fucked, demon. Ooh, shit. Got run over by a truck. Well, I guess I won't be having to deal with that demon anymore. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Well, that's very inspirational. I there. can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Well, okay, ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. Looks like I got the good ending first try. Well, look at me, pro gamer. Police animal experts investigating, investigate chupacabra man, remains found near Sterling. The Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of the carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because of the motorist who discovered the remains had told them that they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains some of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with there, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote, if it is a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies we need to know about it. The animal experts attach, attach the investigation uh, attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they com commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D defi deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay, so we do have another chance to get different endings, What? frankly, I'm going to exit. Does that just take me to the desktop? I hit, okay, uh, well, I think that's going to be it for this video, I could try to get the other endings, but unfortunately I think I'm all out of time here, so if you want to see the other endings, I'm sure you could find another video on YouTube that will give you all the other endings, but thank you guys for watching this video of Faith Chapter 1, I think I'll save Chapter 2 for next October, since uh, I do want to space things out a bit, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace!